Hello, I'm Edward Tart, once a Catholic priest for five years in the 1960s, now an atheist, which simply means that I find no credible evidence for the existence of any God. In just a few moments, I want to tell you about my de-baptismal certificate. But first, some background leading to my baptism. In 1956, in my senior year at the University of Texas in Austin, a fraternity brother, not in a social fraternity, but a service fraternity, who was a Catholic, gave me a book about Catholic doctrine entitled, This is the Faith. I was about to graduate from the university with highest honors with a bachelor's degree in math. You could reasonably expect that I had the ability to use my brain properly. But if I had that ability, I did not exercise it. I let the Catholic Church take over my mind. I started taking private lessons called instructions from a priest at the Catholic Church adjacent to the university campus. After graduation, living with my parents in Beaumont, Texas, I completed the instructions from a priest at St. Anne's Church, and he baptized me at that church near the end of the summer. I was 22 years old. Here is that priest, the priest who baptized me. Here he is seven years later, assisting me at my first solemn mass at that same St. Anne's Church. Five years after that, my brain regained its functionality. I left the priesthood and the Catholic Church. Now I am an atheist. Here is my newly obtained de-baptismal certificate. And here is what it says. I, Edward C. Tart, having been subjected to a Christian baptism before reaching an age of consent, that part does not apply to me, or having submitted to baptism before embracing free thought and reason, that's the part that does apply to me, hereby officially renounce that primitive right and the church that imposed it. I categorically reject the creeds, dogmas, and superstitions of my former religion, particularly the pernicious doctrines of original sin and damnation. I further denounce as an affront and defamation to humanity the false and demeaning belief that any baby is born with original sin and must be cleansed of it by baptism. From this day forward, I wish to be excluded from any claims of religious affiliation or membership based on baptismal records. Signed, Edward C. Tart, on this day, April 21st, in the year of no Lord, 2011. <clears throat> this is from the Freedom From Religion Foundation. Here is their official seal, and below it is a short quotation from Robert G. Ingersoll, with soap, baptism is a good thing. I have videos supporting what this certificate says. I am putting a few links below this video. I have made some copies of this certificate. What am I doing with them? Well, it's probably a waste of time and postage, but I have mailed a copy of it to each of three priests. First, to the present priest of St. Anne's where I was baptized. He probably remembers me from our seminary days. He was a year ahead of me in the seminary. Secondly, I have mailed a copy to the pastor of St. Michael's Church in Houston where I served the first three years of my priesthood. I do not know this priest. I wrote him a note saying, I was stationed at St. Michael's Church from 1963 to 1966, my preaching motivated the parishioners to give a lot of money toward the construction of the new church building, the church where you say Mass every day. In that church, I said Mass, baptized babies, and heard confessions. Third, I sent a copy to a seminary classmate of mine, 
now a pastor of a church about 30 miles from where I live. I also sent him a copy of this photograph from our seminary days. Here he is, and here I am. I included in these three mailings this slip of paper, a copy of it, which says, Edward Tart, a unique YouTube channel, religion, music, math, and more, from a 76-year-old ex-Catholic priest, now math teacher, musician, and atheist. So I'm hoping they will watch some of my videos. As I say, these mailings may be a total waste of time and postage, but you never know. I purchased my de-baptismal certificate, two for five dollars, from the Freedom From Religion Foundation. Their website is ffrf.org. Thank you for watching this video.